Oh my god, no, please don't. Yeah! Ah! God! Yes, we're gonna raid! And he looks so fucking hot! Ah! You look so cute, Matthew! Oh my god! Ah! He looks so cute! That is adorable, okay? That, 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 that is fucking adorable. Okay. What's up guys, my name is Rena Jagnell and welcome to Seduce Me the Beach episode. Oh my god, as soon as I heard that this was coming out today from Michaela, I just had to download it. And I was like, hey, I have just a couple of hours before class, so why the fuck not? Just record this and play it for you guys. <laughs> I, you have no idea how excited I am. This is the beach episode. We get to see them shirtless and all of this. Oh my god, can't wait. Just can't wait. So, without further ado, let us start. Name. I'm. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna put my nickname. Whoops. Chicago is to me the greatest city in the world. It isn't crazy crowded and had the sights, has the sights of New York City and Los Angeles in a wonderful package. The historic buildings and events that are peppered through Chicago are to die for. There is only one problem with Chicago. We don't have a beach. We have a lake. I feel so sorry for you guys, though. But, to be honest, um, the beach here, uh, we have Jones Beach here in New York, and... Trust me, it's not all that great. It's kind of dirty with a lot of seaweed and trash and stuff, so I don't recommend it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Jones Beach is, to me and my family, it's not that clean to me. But it's fun to go, like, in the summer just to play in the sand and stuff. At least in my opinion. That's my opinion. If all you New Yorkers out there like Jones Beach, I don't bash on your opinion. That's just my opinion in general, so whatever. If you're the type that loves to surf, swim, or do anything remotely related to a beach, you will not find that kind of fun here. While you could do all of those things in the lake, it's not suggested. The water is either too cold or too filled with questionable pollution to even dare try. Oh, I do have to mention there's a lot of riptides in Jones Beach. Trust me, the water is really, really cold. You don't want to go in there. The water in Maryland is much, much better. It, to me, it's much, much better than the wa the water here in New York. Trust me. Just just trust me on this. <laughs> you don't want to enter that cold water. You'll be stepping in with your foot and be like, Ah, fuck, this is too cold. Eh, uh, whatever. At least you can walk around it and hang out with friends. So when the boys suggested that we go to the beach during dinner cleanup, I was completely dumbfounded. Wait, what? Guys, you mean the lake, right? No, miss, we mean the beach. Uh, but we don't have a beach! Woo! We haven't gone to the beach in ages. Can we go now? Um, that's a problem. Which one are we going to? <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. We don't have a <laughs> Unless you want to come to New York and enjoy the cold water of Jones Beach, then be my guest. Guys, <laughs> do we have to? I got shit to do, you know. Hey, at least Sam doesn't want to go. <laughs> you want a vacation too, Sam? <laughs> Damien caught you red handed in your face, Sam. Get out of my head! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so funny. Guys! The boys all looked at me as I exploded, catching their attention. Why was it that every time I demanded their attention, I had to yell to get it? Same though, cause nobody likes- Everybody says my voice is too quiet, so they can't hear me, so I have to fucking scream out like a paradoxical screech, like, WHAT THE HELL?! Or something like that. Yeah, I'm, I, I get you, girl, I get you. Nevertheless, I glared at the boys, not understanding where the idea of a beach trip came from. We were in the suburbs of Chicago, and there was no beach in any of the four corners of Illinois. 
We have a lake, not a beach. Where is this beach idea coming from? <clears throat> yes, James? The boys stared at me for a long moment before James cleared his throat with an obvious smile behind his fist. Miss, I'm suggesting a trip out of state to an actual beach. Really? Wait, what? How would we get there? They're demons. I think they know what to do. James adjusted his glasses with a smirk before walking around the dining room table and towards the lobby. James, what are you planning? I can have a jet scheduled for us with a non-stop flight. Hawaii has good weather today the last time I checked. What? What? We're going to go to Hawaii? That's, that's awesome. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii, though. I had almost forgotten that James was a CEO now. Oh. Oh. Wow. That that just made my... Okay. Wow. So he had plenty of assets available to him. Still, Hawaii? That's like nine hours by plane. We'd sleep on the plane. Duh. <laughs> Bless your heart, Matthew. When the heck would we leave? It would be best to leave sometime very early. Remember time zones. Remember the time zones. Time zones are different. I can schedule our flight for 7 a.m. We'd arrive around noon in their time zone. Nice. Excellent. I'll pack some food for us. You do that, Eric. Woo! Man, I gotta find my swim trunks. What about me? Let me go about find my swim trunks. I'll pack the sunscreen. This will be fine. <laughs> Yay, Davey! We'll pack the sunscreen. I guess we're really doing this, huh? Damn it. Fine, whatever. You want to go too, Sam. Stop it. I stared as the boys quickly dispersed to pack and prepare. Were they not going to ask me to come with? As I thought, Sam peeked his head back into the dining room, glaring at me with a raised eyebrow. Hey, you gonna pack or what? You're coming too. Yay, I'm coming too. This is gonna be the best. Let me just let me just go get my swim trucks. My sexy swim truck. No, I'm joking. I don't have those. <laughs> I have mostly one piece. Uh, let's see, I have a two-piece, but it's not much. My aunt gave that to me, so trust me, you don't want to see me in that because of my chubbiness. Okay, whatever. Uh, but, what? Me? No, the other Anderson in the room. Yes, you doofus. Now hurry up. If you don't, we're leaving without you. I'm sorry, I just found this hilarious. <laughs> All right, Sam, I am coming, you fucking dork. Sam disappeared beyond the archway, most likely to go off and pack on his own. I let the situation sink in. We were all going to go to Hawaii and relax on a beach. It was a real vacation. It w it, I would have been stupid to say no to the chance to get away for a day, especially to Hawaii. I instantly ran to my room and began to pack my swimsuit and essentials, preparing for a long trip there and back. Even if we only stayed for the day or two, it was going to be a fun vacation. When we finished packing, we could barely contain ourselves. We were checking and double-checking our luggage, excited for this impromptu vacation. Matthew kept packing and repacking things, indecisive about, indecisive about what he wanted to bring. That would be me. I would, like, double-check, like, okay, what am I missing? Okay, maybe I should take this. Oh, wait, no, maybe I shouldn't take that. Oh, wait, I should t definitely take this. Um, do I really need this? That's how I would be. Honest to God, that would, this is me when I'm packing. And my mom would have to come and check on me and say, are you really going to pack all of this stuff? I say, yep, I'm going to pack all this stuff. And then she's going to come and take out the stuff that I don't need. She's like, you don't need this. I'm like, yes, I do. And she's like, you really don't. Do you really think you'll need this? And then I'll second guess myself. I'm just like Matthew in this situation. See, me and Matthew would be best friends right here. Tr trust me. Ugh. <sighs> As 6 a.m. rolled around, we gathered our things and drove out to a private airport, where James had scheduled a jet to pick us up. By 7, we were on a jet and soaring through the skies towards Hawaii. The excitement of the trip had me sleeping through the flight, hoping to make time go faster. By the time I opened my eyes, I was being ushered into a taxi, and shortly we arrived on the sandy beaches of Honolulu, Hawaii. Hey! <laughs> oh my god! Look at that view! I'm gonna not. I need to catch my breath. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. 
You all are enjoying this right now. You are all enjoying this right now. Ah! Wow, that looks so beautiful. It does. It's just the beach. Shut up, Sam, and enjoy the fucking view. Don't let anyone hear you say that, Sam. It's hard to not look at Eric at this point. Don't stare, don't stare, don't stare. <laughs> That's how I do <laughs> Help! Wow. I couldn't stop myself from staring at the view of the ocean myself. It was breathtaking to say the least. The air was fresh and the view of the endless horizon captivated my senses. <clears throat> It took James clearing his throat for us to break our attention away from the site and look back to him. Let's set up a spot for us to relax first before we enjoy ourselves. Good idea, James. With a nod from all of us, we set up a small area on the shoreline facing out towards the water. Our, purple, our large purple and blue beach blanket came home base as we settled down and took in the fresh breeze. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sam, stop this. Stop this. Sam stretched out, letting a tired yawn. Man, how long do we plan on sticking around? We're not gonna splash and run, are we? Yes, we are, Sam, and I'm going to fucking drag you into that water and splash you like there is no tomorrow. You are gonna get soaked by the time I'm done with you. I've already arranged a hotel block for all of us to stay in tonight, so you're completely free to do whatever you like for the day. Yes! I'm gonna drive. Okay, okay. What are we gonna do? First, okay, let me get the beach ball. Matthew, you're gonna come with me and we're gonna play catch with the beach ball. And we're gonna go in the water. Sam, I'm gonna drag you down with me into that water. I'm gonna splash you like there's no tomorrow. Eric, I will do the same thing to you. And. Yeah, okay. Damien! Me and afterwards, me and you can just relax. Along with James. I don't know. What? Really? Always thinking ahead, aren't you? That's our older brother for you. Always three steps ahead of the rest. Hey! The second bay, though. He's James' the second bay, though. Come on, Sam. Don't be a killjoy. Yeah! Yeah, Sam! Don't let him fool you. <laughs> He's just as excited as we are. Aha! Damien knows! Despite the quick glare in Sam's eyes at Damien, Sam couldn't help but smile and nod. Yeah, I guess. I mean, like, it's been what? Half a year since we had a real vacation? Oh, wow. The boys nodded in agreement. Had it really been that long for them? I had graduated, at the, and the summer caught up to us so quickly that I barely realized how much time passed since the boys came to live with me. As I thought of it, a smile trickled on my, onto my lips, remembering how close we ha had all become. I was especially close with... Oh my god! We have to choose? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, oh, shit! Shit! Fucking hell! Okay. Um. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Um. I can save, right? Alright, I can save. Um. I'm gonna go through each. I'm gonna go through each one of the boys. But I'm gonna do, like, from top bay to bottom bay. So, first, of course, we're gonna go with Eric. And then we're gonna go with Sam. And then we'll go with James. And then I have to choose between, you know what, let me do, let me do my three boys first, and then I'll decide between Matthew and Damien later. Uh, Eric. Eric! I looked over at Eric, watching him take a deep breath and release a silent sigh of relaxation. He was my second kiss, and he had claimed to all of my kisses thereafter. Yay, Eric! You look fine, mighty fine in that swimsuit. Remembering how we met, painting, painted a smile over my face, recalling his flirty and suave persona. Underneath the mask, however, was a man I truly came to adore. Yes. As I stared, Eric caught my gaze and smiled at me lovingly, making my face burn a soft red and causing me to look away in embarrassment. Don't stare at me. Please. Seeing my embarrassment, Eric walked over and gently lifted my hand in his, kissing over my knuckles. Ah, uh, hi. Princess. Accompany me, will you? I'd like to walk with you. Okay! I stared at Eric, feeling my blush intensify at his kiss, before smiling softly and nodding to him. A walk across the beach sounded lovely with Eric. Yes, please, 
do this to me. I like when I go to the beach, I like to go on walks, especially if it's early in the morning and it's sunrise. I love that. Please do this to me. Please. I don't care I don't care if you just wake me up. If you tell me we're going for a morning walk on the beach, I will love you forever. I'm talking to you, Grace. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Eric smiled and soft smiled and softly guided my hand under his arm, guiding me to a reef near the water water's edge. The sand was warm beneath my feet, and the air brushed over my skin in a loving manner. Even as we teased the ocean's edge by letting our feet walk in the shallow shoreline, the clear water lapping over our toes, I could feel the tingling heat from the sand beneath the, the soft brushes of the waves. However, feeling Eric's strong arm made me instinctively cuddle up against him, laying my head on his shoulder. It was so romantic to be on the beach with him. A perfect chick flick moment. Eric, feeling my embrace, chuckled and kissed my head, causing me to look up at him. So, my princess, how do you like the view of the Pacific? It's beautiful and wonderful. It's gorgeous. I've never been to Hawaii before, so this is a brand new experience for me. Really? I'm surprised. Uh, huh? What's, huh? What's so surprising? Vacations are expensive, and I, I've never had the time to really travel with studying and all. Well, my parents... If my parents say we go on vacation, it can, it's either to Maryland... And that's it. Basically, only Maryland. Uh, there was one time I visited family in North Dakota. That was only one time, and I loved it there, it, even though it was kind of cold. I loved it, loved seeing my cousins... Went to Florida a couple of times. It was really hot, but I liked it. Um, of course, I went to Canada because I have family there. Not, I usually go, I don't usually go for vacation in Canada. I usually go just to see family. Or if something happened like a wedding or a funeral, I'd go there. And once I've been to my parents' home country, which is Guyana. And it was pretty cool, actually. It was really hot. It rained a lot there. The water, there was, they, they don't have beach. They have a seawall. I never saw water come up. I only saw like the sand and stuff. But we went to this creek where they always swim at, and I was, it was amazing. It was, it was fun there. It was fun. I, to be honest, I don't mind going back to Guyana. Um, seems fun to me. Anyways, enough of my chattering. Let's just go on with this. Eric nodded in understanding, knowing exactly what I meant. Eric learned of how strict my father was when he asked properly when he asked properly asked for permission to marry me. I was shocked at how well they got along, but since Eric was an incubus, I couldn't be totally surprised with his charisma. True. <laughs> However, I became surprised in the moment as Eric turned and wrapped his arms around me, pulling me close to him with a smile. No, Eric. Eric? You look so lovely in the sun, my island princess. No, be quiet. Stop. You look much more beautiful than me, my prince. I stared up at him, completely lost in the cheesiness of his words. <laughs> so cheesy. And the loving glimmer in his eyes. I felt myself lift a leg behind me, plopping my foot off of the water below me and leaning close to Eric's body. Well, you're too sweet, Eric. I only speak the truth. Ah! I smiled and wrapped my arms around Eric's neck, closing my eyes and leaning in for a kiss. I felt Eric step closer to me and lean towards me as well, making my heart flutter in anxiousness of the kiss. We didn't expect what happened next. Sam, if that's you, I swear to fucking God. Get a room! Oh my God! I hate you guys! Huh? Yeah. All at once, I felt a pair of hands on my side push Eric and me over. Are you fucking kid- I quickly looked over to see Matthew and Sam, hands held up from pushing us with evil grins on their faces. As Eric and I fell into the water beside us, YOU FUCKING ASSHOLES! I'm going to drag you down with me! If you're- if I'm going down, you're going down with me. Oh my god. I hate you! With a splash, Eric and I dropped into the water and quickly shot back up from for air, shaking out from the intense temperature shift. I'm good. You, you, Sam, watch, watch what I'm gonna do to you. You too, Matthew. Gah, you jerks! 
Sam and Matthew laughed and high-fived each other before running off towards the other end of the beach. Puffing out my cheeks, I looked back towards Eric to make sure he was okay. Oh my god, no! Please don't! Yeah! <laughs> Eric stood up from the water and grinned at me, combing his hair back with his hand and drenched with his hand and drenched from head to toe. I had to admit it was kind of hot to see him like that, but his smile made one grow onto my uh, grow. Bleh. But his smile made one grow on my own lips. Eric is distracting me from saying what I want to say. Ah! Well, that certainly didn't turn out the way I would have imagined. <laughs> Please, oh my god. As Eric began to laugh, I couldn't help but laugh along. Now that the rush of surprise had washed over us, it was kind of hilarious to know that our romantic moment was com comedic com comedically, I don't know how to pronounce words, Wallen. Comedically ruined. Taking the surprise moment a little further, I dipped my hands in the water and splashed it up towards Eric, lighting my water attack perfectly. We're gonna do a water fight? Yes, water fight! Gonna splash you! Yes! Princess! Gotcha! <laughs> a smirk danced over Eric's lips as he wiped his face with his hand before he retaliated, making me release a squeak in surprise and cover myself from the water he shot towards me. Oh, it is on now! Blech. Voice cracked a little. Whoops. I couldn't help but laugh a, a little harder. We had our entire lives to be romantic and cheesy. We are at the beach now, so we could have we could have a little fun war for the moment. My little vacation away from the world would be with Eric and me, laughing in the sun and playing in the ocean together. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Hey, okay, so that was Eric. So um let me get who, oh, I see the hashtag. Hashtag Incubeach Boys. Yes. Okay, let me get right back to you with, and then we'll do Sam next. All right. Okay, let's do Sam now. Oh, I love that Eric scene. Eric, Eric, oh my God. All right, Sam, what you got planned this time? I looked over at Sam, watching him stretch back and rub his neck. That mere action reminded me how ripped and strong he was. Ooh, hoo, hoo causing a red blush to cross my cheeks. I, uh, yes, yes. Sam was my first kiss, and recalling that small memory caused a smile to grace my lips as I continued to gaze at Sam and his adonis like body. As I stared, Sam looked over before smirking and flexing his arms behind his head, making my face burn a deeper red, and I looked away in embarrassment. Sam, please, I know that you're ripped, but come on, don't make me pounce onto you right now, please. Eric leased a yawn and sat down on the blanket, joined by James. You two relax. You relax, Eric Bay, while I have fun with Sam Bay. I think I'll just relax here for a bit. Have fun. Uh, I'll join you, Eric. I have a book I need to finish anyway. Hey, at least you read books at the beach. I brought, uh, when I went for my cousin's birthday at the beach, I brought, I brought a book for myself too, so. It was pretty fun. Boo! You two are no fun. Matthew, leave them alone. They want to relax, possibly get a tan, which seems hot as hell. Oh, uh, well. I looked over at Sam, wondering what fun we could have on the beach. We could swim in the ocean, maybe rent some surfboards and wait in the water. I want to know how to surf, but I'm going to suck at it, and I'm going to have water going in my nose, and that's going to suck. Uh, if Sam knew how to surf, it would be fun to see him ride the waves. It would be, being honest. I grinned at the images in my head of things we could do, but then I heard Damien chuckle and walk over to Matthew while catching my attention. I forgot he was able to read my mind. God damn it, Damien, don't say anything! Come on, Matthew, let's go get some ice cream. Oh, ice cream! Oh, you're going to get ice cream without me? Dude, come on, that's not fair! I want ice cream! Ooh, sounds good! I could go for some! Damien smiled and nodded at me before nodding and walking away with Matthew towards a small hut on the far end of the beach, leaving Sam and me alone. I turned towards Sam, seeing him watch his younger brothers leave before gazing at me with a simple smile. Guess it's just us, huh? Yep, it's just me and you, so what do you want to do? Do you want me to splash your face with water? Do you want to play with the beach ball? You name it, bro. You name it. I nodded before walking over and leaning up on my toes, kissing Sam's cheek. 
As I caught him off guard, I looked over to the side to see a small building with surfboards on the side, most likely ready for rent. With a playful smirk, I continued to lean in, making Sam stare at me with a blush on his face and surprise in his eyes. It's fun to embarrass you, Sam! How about a race? Oh, yes, please! The word race made a slowly growing smirk appear over Sam's lip. Sam's lip. Mischief in his stare as he gazed into my eyes. No cheating, no, you cannot use your speed powers. No cheating. A race? Where? I placed my finger on the end of his nose before jerking my thumb over to the surfboard building. No powers to that building. Yes, yes, girl, no powers. <laughs> what makes you think you can beat me without me using my powers? Just try me. I can beat you any day. No, not really. I can't run for life. But anyways, I'm going to boast out my confidence by saying things that aren't true. Well, we're on sand. That's true. That is true. That's it's it's hard to run. Everybody, uh, most of you probably know that it's hard to run on sand. I pointed at the sand beneath our feet, reminding Sam of the difficult terrain we were on as we already sank a bit on the ground. Sam looked down and realized the difficulty of the challenge as his toes wiggled in the sand. Still, Sam looked up at back, looked back up at me with the same arrogant and playful smirk. Oh, you are so on right now. So what? I'll still win. Uh, it's on. It's on, bro. You really think so? I felt a rush of confidence rush through my body as I arched my back and pressed my chest up against Sam's in an act of intimidation. Sam grinned and leaned his head in towards mine, his to his touching his nose to mine. I know so, doofus. Uh, we'll see about that. Then, let's go! I gave a peck on Sam's cheek, knowing he would be stunned for a half of a second before bolting towards the surfboard building. Sam stared at me, shaking out the surprise attack before smirking and rushing after me. I laughed, looking back at Sam before focusing my sights on the finish line we had established. The sand beneath my feet was giving way with each step I took, but I pulled my legs up and continued forward. Yes! We got this! Ah! God! I didn't expect Sam to catch up so fast, grinning to me at my side matching my and matching my stride. How's it going, doofus? Ah, uh, it's going well, dark, but I'm still gonna beat you. Hey! No cheating! Oh my god, are you using your powers? You, you son of a gun! God damn it! I said don't use your powers! I barked, unbelieving at how much ground he had gained in the race. Sam leaned back and let out a bark of a laugh. <laughs> Not my fault you're having trouble. Oh, shut up! Sam looked back at me and grabbed my arm, pulling me pulled me towards him before ducking down and I landed on his back. Piggyback step. Ah, uh, what? Whoa! Come on. Oh my god, he's giving us piggyback rides! Yes! 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 With a burst of energy rushing through our body, Sam sped up and raced like a speeding car towards the building. I gripped onto Sam tightly, laughing at accepting the loss I would have had in the race. Ah, uh, well, couldn't have been helped. But he's giving us piggyback rides! Yes! I love this! Yes! Sam was indeed faster than me, but I still loved him anyway. My little vacation away from the world would be with Sam and me running along the sand and surfing the Hawaiian waves. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Ah yes, that was Sam's. Now, the, now we get to do James. The kinky, the kinky bro, the kinky babe. Yes, this is going to be so much fun. Let's see what he has in store for us. I'll get right back to you on that. All right, we're gonna do James next. Ah, James, he's so cute and kinky, just the way I like it. He's a gentleman on the streets, kinky in the sheets. Yes. I looked over at James, seeing him adjust his glasses. Hold up, let me adjust my glasses too. <laughs> and settled down on the blanket. He had stolen my heart the moment he offered his arm to me when we first met. Oh yeah, that too, okay. I couldn't tell what it was exactly that attracted me, but I was positive that his leader-like aura was one of the million reasons I fell in love with the demon. As I stared, James caught my gaze and smiled at me sweetly, making my face burn a soft red and I looked away in embarrassment. Look at you rocking that swimsuit, boy! Sam and Matthew turned to each other and smirked. Race into the water, runt! Oh! No speed boost, cheater! <laughs> 
please don't cheat. And off they went, bolting towards the ocean with bouncing strides across the sand. Eric and Damien laughed before looking to each other. Please tell me we're going to lay down in the sand with James and we're going to read. I would love this. I would love this, especially with James. Can we go collect some seashells? <gasps> ah, seashells! David, I want to join you, but I need some time with my boo, James. <laughs> it's like you read my mind. Hey, I, I got you. Eric and Damien nodded to each other before walking towards a reef, focused on their hunt for seashells. I became determined to think of things that James and I could do. We could get a boat and ride across the water, or even just walk along the shoreline and watch the others enjoy themselves. As long as I was with James, I was completely okay. Yes, we're gonna raid! And he looks so fucking hot! But... But no, seriously, we can all agree that Eric looks way hotter because he got splashed with water. Okay. As I looked back at James, I noticed him sitting down on the blanket we had laid out and pull out a book from the bag we brought along. To my surprise, it wasn't love and romance. Oh, James, you're not reading that book anymore. It was a book with a blank cover and back. Huh? James? Hmm? What is it? You're just gonna read? Hey, leave the man alone. I like when he... I like to see him read. I mean, I don't mind reading either. I don't disturb people who read on the beach. I think it's fun to read on the beach. James nodded, lifting his book a bit for me to see. I started this a while ago and still haven't finished. I might as well finish it now that I have the time to. You do you, man. I will join you. Maybe I have a book of my own. I, I need to get the book, but I'm too lazy to get out of bed. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. I see. It seemed a bit boring. No, it doesn't. Why would James go through... But anyways, why would James go through the trouble of coming up to Hawaii and sit around and read? That made zero sense. Hey, I see people read at the beach too. Come on, girl. Come on. Leave the poor man alone. I would, I would join him and read a book of my own. Maybe just cuddle up against his chest too. Seeing my confusion, James smiled. You're wondering when I'm going to have some fun, aren't you? Oh, well. Huh? Well, I mean... It's okay. R J James, you read. Whenever you want to have fun, we can have fun. I don't mind. Like I said, I will read next to you with a book of my own. I bit my lip. I didn't mean to give my thoughts away on my face, but James simply nodded and laughed a bit, causing me to look back at him. <laughs> I plan to eventually. Eventually? Mm-hmm. I mainly wanted to come here for them. Aww, you're so sweet. James's gaze returned to the ocean, causing me to look over and watch as Sam and Matthew race each other in the blue water with Eric and Damien sitting on a rock nearby, collecting seashells. Seashells! There was logic. There was the logic. He did it for his brothers. James, that is so sweet of you. Oh my god, this this man. I want to hug this man right now. You knew they wanted to have a real vacation, so you arranged the perfect one. I looked to James to see him nod with a smile as he continued to look at his brothers enjoying themselves. We may be adults, but I'm still their older brother. Whatever I can give them, I will happily provide. Aww, James, you're so sweet. I think he's trying to make up the time where he couldn't join them and he kept training with his father and such. This is really, really sweet of you, James. I'm I'm proud of you. I am so proud of you. Thank thank God. I, th th this is, I, I, I'm still questioning why he's not my bae in the first place because all of this. Oh my God. Madam... Madam Sharky, I, I don't know if you're going to watch this anyway. Madam Sharky, you're probably going to watch this anyway. Yeah, Madam Sharky, you are so lucky to have James. So, so lucky, man. All right. Even if Sam fights you? <laughs> Even if he argues tooth and nail with me, I'll still take care of him. No, James. I smiled, feeling my heart warm at the sight of such brotherly love. I walked over and sat beside sat down beside James, beside James, staring out at the water and leaning slightly against James's side. Hmm? Love? You're so sweet to them. You know that? <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I hope you will enjoy yourself too. I nodded before laying out a sigh and becoming lost in the sight of the in the sight the horizon. 
Okay. Mm, this place is really beautiful. <laughs> I was happy to be by James's side, even if it was he was simply basking in the sun with a book. I don't mind at all. James seemed to take the hint as he softly let out a chuckle and wrapped an arm around me, kissing my temple. But it is nothing compared to your beauty. Don't, Jade, stop it, you. That made me my face heat up. I became red in the face, pursuing my lips at James as he smiled and hugged me to him. I love you, James. I love you, too. My little vacation away from the world would be... Would... Ugh. Let me start over. My little vacation away from the world would be was perfect. Okay, I, that made no sense. Whatever. With me wrapped in James's arms, staring at a gorgeous ocean, enjoying the fresh island breeze. I wouldn't have had it any other way. <coughs> oh, God. Okay, so that was James. That's really sweet of James. Madam Sharky, you are lucky to have James as your boyfriend. Jeez. Okay, so there's still Matthew and Damien. Hmm, who should I do first? You know what? I'll do Matthew since Matthew and I are just like best friend material. So best friends and then Damien's just precious. So I'll do Matthew and I'll get right back to you. All right, we are going to do Matthew now. Cinnamon bun, bestie. I turned my head to Matthew, seeing him bounce on the balls of his feet in excitement. I couldn't help but feel energetic and excited for the day ahead myself just from the sight. Matthew and I had become a dynamic duo team, and being on vacation with him was providing to be a fun adventure waiting to happen. As I looked at my, at my wonderful incubus, Matthew turned to lock eyes with me and smiled. I smiled back, both of us gaining a boost of joy just from exchange. Sam let a grin cross his lips as he walked over to Damien and gave him a simple smack on the back. Dude, don't smack him! Hey Damien, wanna learn how to swim since we're here? Oh my god, you're gonna teach Damien how to swim? Huh? Before Damien could properly reply, Sam ducked down and lifted Damien over his shoulder, walking towards the water. Sam! Sam! Take care of the precious! I'm going to come over there and personally smack you. I'm going to act like... Tr uh, it's moments like these where I will act as a total mother figure towards Damien. I will smack Sam on the head and then I cuddle Damien and be like, Are you okay? Are you okay, honey? Do you need, like, hugs? Or anything, I would be that mother figure. God, Sam, put me down. <laughs> sure, I'll put you down when we get to the water. <laughs> oh, Sam, come on. James and Eric shook their heads, watching the pair as Sam marched towards the ocean with Damien flailing on his arm. Oh, Damien! Matthew chuckled nervously before walking over to me with his cute, goofy grin. So, what you want to do? I smiled at Matthew before looking to the water, letting some ideas cross my mind. We could indeed swim around in the ocean and enjoy the water. At the same time, I felt like waiting a bit before taking a dip. I took Matthew's hand and gently pulled him towards the coastline. Let's walk for a bit, then we can go swimming. Matthew nodded in agreement before walking alongside me towards the edge of the water. We walked along the foamy tips of the water of the waves as we basked in the bright sunlight. I had never felt so relaxed until then. I guess I truly needed the vacation after all. I was glad to spend it with the man I loved and the fact and that fact made me release a sweet sigh of sweet sigh of joy. Huh? What is it? Huh? Matthew turned to me with a curious grin. Curious smile. I furrowed my eyebrows in confusion for a moment before realizing the sigh that had come out of my mouth. I then shook my head and laughed. Sorry, <laughs> I was just thinking of how wonderful today is. We're in Hawaii and we s we're spending the day out. It's really nice. Matthew seemed to agree as he nodded with a smile and stretched his hand up to cover his face with a shadow. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, kind of hot. Yeah, kind of hot. I had to admit, it was a bit warm. Then again, we were on an island beach. It was expected to be hot, enticing you forward to take a dip in the water, and then freezing your ass off cause the water is so cold. However, as he took a moment to himself, Matthew grinned and pointed over my shoulder. Whoa, what's that? Oh my god, you're gonna push me into the water, aren't you? I instantly turned over my shoulder to look, only seeing the tree line of the beach and feeling the wave, a wave of confusion in my brain. 
What was he wanting to show me? Ah! You look so cute, Matthew! Oh my god! As I turned back around, however, Matthew held up two tan cups filled with peach orange colored ice cream. You got ice cream! Yes! I thought you were going to push me in the water or something. Okay. Whoa! How did... Matthew handed one of the cups to me and smiled sweetly before starting to eat from his own. The ice cream looked amazing, but I could tell that something was different about it. What kind of ice cream is this? Goody goody. It's like soda ice cream. It's really good. I promise. I want to try some. I watched him take another bite of his goody goody before nodding and looking down at my own cup. It looked fl fluffy and light, so I took up my spoon and tried it. He was right. The flavor was soft and the texture was melt in your mouth, mixed with a fluffy cloud-like feel. Even more so, it was refreshing and I felt gently cold waves run through my body from that simple taste. Mmm, this is really good. I know, right? It's so yummy. See, it's things like these that would make Matthew and me best friends, to be honest. Matthew and I shared a small laugh and smile as we enjoyed our dessert. The combination was perfect. The light breeze and the cool goody goody mixed with the sight of the ocean and the fresh air. Today was a good day. Today is such a good day. Matthew chuckled a bit, causing me to look over at my fluffy haired incubus. What? I feel the same way. Being on a beach with the sweetest woman I know and eating really good ice cream is the best. Oh, you. I pursued. I pursued. Pursued. <laughs> wow. I pursed my lips and fought the blush attempting to evade my cheeks, causing Matthew's chuckles to evolve into laughter. I couldn't be stubborn for long and began to smile to him. I love you so much. You know that? And I love you too, bestie. Okay, I'm sorry. And I love you too, Matthew. Matthew was indeed one of the most important people in my life, and to walk alongside with his smile made me excited for the day ahead. He was my joy and I was his. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Alright, that was Matthew and now we have only the precious Damien. I'm going to be a total mother, mother figure to him. Just watch, okay? Just watch. Alright, Damien, what are we gonna do now? Your mom is here to take care of you. I turned my head toward Damien, seeing him stare at the ocean's horizon. I couldn't help but wonder what was on his mind. Damien had become an interesting venture to explore as he was generally the less talkative brother of the Incubi, despite being human now. I found those facts dance around my thoughts and fascination. As I looked at Damien, he looked over and he was surprised to see me stare at him before smiling and reaching over, taking my hand. I blushed and smiled, giving him his hand a squeeze. I began to wonder what we were going to do together. We could walk along the shore, swim, and explore the deep, the depths of the ocean. Maybe even surf. Anything was possi a possibility. Out of pure excitement, I tightened my hold on Damien's hand and pulled him towards the ocean, giggling a bit. Uh, huh? Come on, let's jump in. W wait. Oh, dang. I could barely hear him as we made our way towards the edge of the water. Before we could even touch it, however, Damien pulled my hand back, causing us to stop. Whoa! Uh, hold on, okay? What's wrong? Damien? What's wrong? Damien grimaced, tightening his grip on my hand as he looked down at the sand in... Shame? What was he ashamed of? You can't swim? Oh, don't worry, I can teach you. I... Uh, I can't swim. Hey, that's why I'm here. I can teach you how to swim. Don't be ashamed. And suddenly, I felt bad. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. It's alright. I guess I forgot to tell you. I can teach you how to swim, though. Damien relaxed a bit before stepping, si before stepping beside me, looking out at the water. There was a form of longing in his eyes that made me frown, but a prick of curiosity tapped at my mind. Why don't you know how to swim? Well, I guess the demon world is to blame. In the Abyssal Plains, we live near a place called the Decaying Sea, a cursed body of water that pulls anyone who falls in beneath the water for all eternity. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, wow. Yeah. When we came here, James and the others instantly adapted and grew to love the beaches we went to. 
I never really got over my fear, though, so I can't swim. Aww. Damien pressed his lips together inside, making me frown a bit more. I really wanted to help him, and he seemed to be interested in at least wading through the water. We're going to teach you how to swim, Damien. I'm going to do this. I will. Don't worry, Damien. Your mother, Sophie, is here to take care of things. <sighs> With a small dollop of courage, I turned around and slowly walked back into the water, feeling the ocean gently wrap and dance around my feet while I held Damien's hand. Huh? Let's take it slow, then. I'll help you through it, even if we just wade through the water. Damien stared at me in surprise. I hoped he was up for a courageous chance, but something told me that he would be that he would be with just a little nudge. As his lips finally for formed a loving smile, he nodded, making me giddy in joy. He slowly began to walk towards me as I led both of us further into the water. As the ocean caressed Damien's feet, he flinched a bit, tightening his grasp on my hand. However, he gulped silently and pushed himself further. I felt a bit bad, not wanting to force him into this, so I slowly... So I slowed my pace even further, eventually getting us to the knee-deep edge of the water. The ocean, on the other hand, was an impatient beast. Oh no. I barely noticed a shadow hovering over us as Damien looked up behind me and suddenly became pale in fright. Oh no! Wave! Oh my god, Sam! I barely had time to turn around to see a gigantic wave cresting over Damien and me before feeling my incubus rush at me and wrap my himself around me protectively. Oh, Damien! The cold but refreshing wave of water splashed over our bodies, making the warm air that, fo that followed after brushed against our cooled skin. However, we remained frozen at the event, caught off guard at the ocean's natural splash attack. I looked up at Damien and watched as he slowly opened his eyes, looking around in slight surprise. We were both soaking wet, but we were still okay, standing in the same spot we were in before. Damien, precious, are you okay? Gently standing up straight, I placed my hands on his shoulders, slightly nervous and worried about my incubus's mental state. Are you okay? Dude, don't worry, mama's here, mama's here. Damien? A moment passed of other silence as Damien seemed to take in what had happened to him. We were alright and we were still together. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's so cute finally Damien began to laugh it was a sweet and joyful laugh one that seemed to ooze with innocent excitement and enthusiasm I couldn't help but start laughing but start laughing myself <laughs> that wave was unexpected ah he looks so cute Damien grinned at me before gently walking to further into the water, gesturing for me to follow. Come on, let's wait for another one further in. Oh my god, Damien gets me! I like, I sometimes when the waves aren't so rough, I love to go into the waves and like go in deep, but I don't want to go in too deep because my brother has a tendency to go in a little too deep, so I try to maintain my distance, but I always want to catch every other wave that comes. It's fun. It's fun. Whenever I get the chance and the waves are not rough, I love doing that. I stared, dumbfounded. Where did this rush of courage come from? From the waves, sweetie. As if the ocean listened to my thoughts, a small wave gently pulled me forward, pushing the back of my knees towards Damien. I stared at the water before smiling. This swimming lesson would be fun. I would spend time with Damien, forging a new memory and helping him learn to love the water. The ocean seemed excited to have us, and I was happy to know we would have a grand time. I wouldn't have had it any other way. And that was Damien. Okay, that was the Total Beach episode. Woo, that was a vlog ride. I, you pro guys probably expected me to only do Eric, but no, I had to do all the boys for you guys. Especially since Eric, Sam, and James are like Bay and Second Bay. Matthew is bestie, and Damien is precious child, who I will take care of forever. Ugh, okay, um, see the credits. Kayla, uh -huh. love the art, yes. Christopher with the music, all awesome as always, yeah, I don't need to get into that. Voices, Bradley's, James, nice Bradley. Christopher's, Eric, of course, I love Chris and Eric, yes. Alejandro, Sam, Ethan, as Matthew, 
Jonah as Damien, Michaela as Diana and Brendan, or Jello Apocalypse, as you all know him as Seto. Um, we didn't hear them in there, though. What's going on? Why would you put yourself in there if you didn't? Okay, I'm just gonna go back. Eh, wait, yeah, okay, that was the Beaches episode, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the the toned bodies of the boys. Ha! <sighs> if you'll excuse me, I'm probably gonna put that Eric screen my as my new screensaver. Oh, jeez. Not on my phone, on my computer. And my mom's gonna question, why do you have him on there? I'm like, because he's Bay, Mom. That's why. Oh, jeez. I'm going to... I'm just going to fawn over this for a long while. Whew. So, yeah. I just had to do this. I still... Ha I had time. Trust me. I'm not late for classes or anything. I don't have classes for, like, an, for a couple of hours or so. So, I have, like, an hour to get ready. I'll be fine. Ah. <sighs> With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, guys, quick thought. I did, I went back towards the game and I missed it. There's an option to do all of them. And yes, we're going to do all of them. Just think... Just in case. Yeah, we're gonna do all of them. Matthew, also Matthew, please stop walking, James. It was true. I shared my love with them all, and for now, they all shared their love for me. I knew that one day I would have to choose one to be with. I already chose one. It's Eric. Or maybe Sam. Ah, dang it, I still haven't chosen. <sighs> well, for the time being, we were all bound together in an intricate web. Intricate web. Gazing at each boy, I felt a small bubble of joy flutter in my chest and grow with each face my sight landed on. I loved them and couldn't wait to spend the day with them. All. What suddenly brought me out of my happy stupor was Sam vanishing from his spot and reappearing where Matthew was, holding his younger brother up over his head. What are you doing? Uh, hey, anyone want to see a flying pipsqueak? Oh my god, Sam, no, don't do that. Sam, I'm going to kill you. Oh my god! Before Matthew could finish, Sam vaulted Matthew towards the ocean, laughing wildly as his brother made a giant splash in the water's surface. Wow! Oh my god! Sam, you're so mean! <laughs> Matthew? I st stepped forward to rush towards the ocean, but st stopped as Sam was suddenly grabbed by both James and Eric, each incubus taking hold of their younger brother's wrists at the side of his ribs. Well, shit, you're in trouble now! What? Cute display, Sam. Oh my god! How about a reprise? You're gonna- Oh my god! Oh no, you don't! Eric and James, smirking at their victim, managed to quickly hoist Sam up over their heads and shoot him into the water beside where Matthew had fallen in. Yes, yes, this is why I love these two. <laughs> The splash Sam made was twice as large, sending Matthew drifting away from his spot. Damien, on the other hand, laughed as James and Eric began to walk towards the shoreline before following his two eldest brothers. I couldn't help but watch in curiosity. James and Eric began to wade into the water, moving towards Sam and Matthew. Damien took his time, very cautiously stepping into the water and following along. Was he afraid of the ocean? I stared as Matthew shot up from the water and body slammed Sam under the surface, making a chaotic splash in the ocean. As the three other brothers approached, they had to duck and dodge the water cresting from the fight. Hey, I want to join the water fight too! How was I lucky enough to wind up with them? Thinking back on how we all met, I could still only imagine how I ended up going to the Hawaiian beach with five really hot guys. I was the luckiest girl in the entire world. Hey! Doofus! What? Do you want? That is adorable, okay? That, 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 that is fucking adorable. Okay. My thoughts were broken at the sound of Sam's voice. Like, I looked quickly, I looked up quickly, coming back to reality as I saw the five boys stare at me in expectancy. Are you gonna come in or are we gonna have to drag you over? Excuse me. <laughs> Let's go. The water is great. I'm coming. Might as well come on in, miss. You'll enjoy I it. will. We promise we won't roughhouse with you. 
Unless you'd like us to. <laughs> I don't mind. Come on. The smile that grew on my face, I'm sure, was a brighter was brighter than the sun. I was going to spend my day and my life with these wonderful guys. And I wouldn't have had it any other way. Okay. Sorry, I just realized at the last minute that there was an option to do all of the guys. So there we go. You have all the guys. They are so cute and adorable. Oh my god. That that picture was beautiful. Okay. Whew, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we're officially done with the beach episode. So there you have it. Okay, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys like to see more of my videos, then click subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!